Okay, I'm standing at the summit of Mount Haleakala. The Haleakala crater at the very top of Maui, it's 10,000 feet high. And we were here for sunrise. If you ever plan this type of trip, here are my pieces of advice for you. Number one is you gotta arrive here like an hour and a half before sunrise, or else you're not gonna get a spot, one of the coveted spots right here at the fence. There were literally hundreds of people lined up against the fence and I couldn't get in with my tripod. So you probably need to be here, as I said, an hour and a half in advance. Number two, dress really warmly. It's barely windy right now, which is a real rarity, but it is really, really cold. So you don't want to be here in shorts. You want to bring all of your extra jackets that you have. And you want to be shooting a panorama because it's such a huge wide vista in front of you. So you want to be able to spin that pano head and get the very left side all the way over to the right side. And preferably as the sun is coming up, you're going to want to have bracketing turned on on your camera because it's dark down in the crater and it's really bright up in the sky. So definitely you're going to want to shoot an HDR panorama. If you have a really, really wide angle lens, then you don't need to be shooting a panorama but you will want to have that HDR, the bracketing turned on so that uh, you can see the light way down deep in the crater and you'll still have the, you'll be exposing for the sky without blowing out the sky because you can't fix a blown out sky in post. What was really, really, really cool and totally unexpected. So just as the sun came up over top of the horizon, it poked up through the clouds and we're in the midst of hundreds of hundreds of people who are packed up against the fence. The people right beside me, a couple, the, the guy in the relationship asked the big question and he proposed to his girlfriend right beside us. And uh, it was a very, happy and emotional moment. So here's what they had to say about the moment uh, afterwards. Why did you choose up here at Haleakala as a place to get engaged? So Hawaii it's her favorite place. Yes. And she loves the universe. So I wanted her to be closest to the universe for this special moment. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We <laughs> wish you a wonderful life together. Thank you. Last little piece of advice if you're ever coming here. This is the visitor center beside me, like the actual building. And there is a, a very small viewing area in this little wedge that ends three feet behind me. This is the best spot to get your photo from because you can look straight down and there are these long curvy leading lines of kind of uh, crushed lava and it just looks so cool. This is the spot to be at. You probably have to get here two hours before sunrise in order to get this spot, but it would be worth it. Just don't even go to bed that night. Just stay up all night. <laughs> So I will process this photo when I get home and hopefully it's going to turn out okay. It's been an amazing experience, like almost a spiritual experience to be up here for sunrise. Just absolutely incredible to be 10,000 feet high at the very top of this island. It's not something that we can experience really back home, the ability to drive in a car to an elevation that's this high. So it's, it's really special. I highly recommend it if you're ever taking a trip to Maui. Get up here, bring your camera, bring your tripod, bring everything you've got. Just be super early. That's it. See you in the next video. It was so gorgeous. Yeah. Unforgettable experience. <laughs>